Hi everyone and welcome back. All right, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving holiday, those who celebrated. Always grateful. Okay, let's get started. This is a little late, just got back in town. Let's get started, faith over fear, all signs around the world, as well as the Bible verse in the end and the collective. Read, okay. Time stampers, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Aries. Taking a minute to change your perspective. I love that you came out here, so we're on point. Changing your perspective. I think changing your perspective about what really has gone down, what ails you, what ails your body, what type of ideologies could you change about yourself that will um, propel you to higher learning, higher knowledge, and a paradigm shift for sure. Not saying that you're not in charge, you are. But in order to get, as you can see, the progression is getting back, getting up from some of you praying for sure, right? Moving, getting up, leveling up, changing one's perspective in order to regain regain your energy as well as your perspective and control of and in your life. These are things that happen for reasons, the things that make us fall down on our knees and, and seek to find reason. The body, also your embodiment. So not only to seek that reasoning in order to change your perspective, it's also about healing. So you may be feeling some uncomfortable things in your body, right? You could be having aches and pain, your knees, your back, your neck, your shoulders. You could really use a break if you've been working too much. If you are in construction, this is masculine for sure, right? All masculine here. So it, it could be an Aries feminine. I don't feel it as much as the masculines here. Here, trying to really get more in tune with your body in order to level up and get back into control and feeling like whole again, right? I mean, you may have you may have some aches and pains and you're like, well, this sucks, but I need to find out why. Why am I feeling like, you know, my knees hurt, my back hurts. Am I exercising enough? Am I eating right? Am I getting enough sleep? These are the perhaps questions that you're that you're asking yourself. You are at the 10 here, which is beautiful because with this major arcana, you're looking at this seriously. You're not taking anything for granted per se. Okay, I love that. Let's find your Bible verse for Aries. It's kind of like you're getting back to the way you used to feel again about yourself, you know? Body, mind, and soul connection. I love that. Okay, Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It totally makes sense that that is indeed what you're doing. It's like getting back, you're getting yourself back again. Mind, body, and soul. 
And in order to do that, right, we need to, of course, look within. Okay. Taurus. I know this is the 4th of um, December, so let's say this is the week from Wednesday to Wednesday, okay? Although there, time is is time is not is not the issue it is about the importance of what you do and how you spend your time that's important taurus taurus so taurus you're having this feeling of i got to like speak up now i feel like you want to go back to say something to someone or someone wants to come to say something to you like this could be a gemini libra aquarius that needs to go over some some ground to help you maybe to help you to heal someone may feel that you or you feel that someone may be somewhat um, opinionated or that there's a level of self-reflection that needs to take place um, so that we can not so much look at others as look at oneself right you may have someone really coming in to give you some information about about what they think but I feel that if someone comes if someone comes in that knows you, Taurus, right? They know you and they want to offer some advice, their opinions. Maybe they've seen this cycle before. It's a major arcana. So they have, they feel the need perhaps, especially if it's an air sign here, they feel the need to help you through, um, through the eyes of what they see and seek in you. Does that make sense? Got it? So if it's you, then you are seeking that help from someone or you are helping someone else seek their healing and their judgments of themselves and asking you for that advice and or help. So it's either way. Either way, someone's coming in and you will be getting some really um, solid information about maybe what they want from you, why they hurt you. Maybe they want closure. Maybe they want another go around. Just saying, I'm sorry, but Taurus, you may want to, to revisit a relationship that may have ended three months ago or up to three years ago. I mean, it happens. It is all these planets in, um, in retrograde right now. I mean, almost anything can happen, you know? So take that also take this information and really feel your way through it instead of looking at it in such a logical way. You need to feel your way through what is being said and or offered as advice or help in healing your heart. Yeah, I think someone wants to come back or you want to, you want to go back to someone. Your Bible verse is Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my, sh and sh and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song, I praise him. So that makes total sense that you are healing your heart, but you have to allow it to come from your heart and not from a logical place. And whatever that is, it is a time of self-reflection because especially if you want to, if this is a continuation of something that has been going on for quite some time. And, you know, you have to ask the questions. You have to know, like, why does, why, 
why do I want to go back or why does someone want to come back to, toward me? And not in a logical way. How do you feel about that? Okay. Gemini. I was gonna, I was like, okay, it just fell out. Gemini. Some of you overcoming some upset, perhaps with an Aries Leo Sag. I feel like you're, like you can see that it is so obvious that someone is really upset and someone feels like, oh my God, I conquered, I overcame. So you could have two separate issues with an Aries Leo Sag, whereby you may feel like, oh my God, I feel so good um, about what's been happening or how I handled the situation. And someone else may be really trying to get back on their feet and saying, someone may be trying to get you back, clearly, an Aries Leo Sag. Sun, moon, and or rising. And perhaps they're going to follow their heart and just go for it. Someone may just go for it and say, listen, what's the worst thing that Gemini could say to me is no. You know, we're not, I'm not going to entertain this again. And or you say it to them. Someone could be in the public eye and someone's reminiscing about good times and also reminiscing about the sadness that comes with the good times as well as the ones, the memories of the loss. So someone could be very much, very much looking you know, looking within and saying, wow, I really had a great time with this person. So outgoing, so much fun, did a lot of things together, had some really solid, a solid connection here or friendship, what have you, and they're gone. So someone is definitely reminiscing and really feeling very heart. The heart is all that matters right now to someone that you're dealing with, or it's you dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. It have, we have cancer in, in the, as someone who may be also in there, but I think it's because this is standing out and speaking to me so loud. Okay, but I also do feel that someone who has lost you, Gemini, is really upset about it. And I feel that you have overcome those feelings. Psalm 23, four for Gemini, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and my staff, they comfort me. We do know that Psalm, don't we? So I feel you have been comforted and have definitely, even if you're reminiscing or someone's reminiscing, there's, I mean, probably there is a lot of love still left, right? Between the two of you, but it has, it has um, transmuted to more perhaps of, you know, a memory instead of, future moments or memories that we can make, continue to make. I think that's done. Okay. Cancers. Wow, look at all this. So much, right? So much of who we are is all about how much faith we have in ourselves and in the love of God. Look at that. So you're really reaching out reaching out to someone. Some of you um, cancers are dealing with perhaps really someone from afar at a distance who's a Taurus perhaps. Okay, we have Taurus here. 
perhaps someone you have left behind for reasons um, that were someone did not have faith enough in themselves to sustain the connection, right? Maybe faith was needed to sustain this connection, but someone couldn't hold it together if they didn't, maybe there was a trip planned also that someone couldn't go on if that's you or a Taurus. Maybe it was a plan, there was a planned trip and someone bowed out of the trip because of financial, you know, woes. Someone really is thinking about the past, what it's taught them, and having more faith in seeing that God always has a plan even in the midst of and in the sadness of our maybe some of you are feeling alone and or lonely someone could be missing a son who moved away maybe you have an older son who's moved a far distance for work or what have you or a Taurus has just cancer moved from a dist a distance from you and it's a reminiscent time. It is that time of the year. There are many factors that go into the salvation of surrender. Salvation is the need to surrender, right? Your Bible verse is Proverbs 12, 25. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. So really and truly find your kindness is in the faith of your strength. And to allow your kindness to help those who are not so fortunate perhaps as you are. Maybe that is a finance, it could be strictly financial. You know, being grateful for what we have because we know that others are not. You could be, okay, you could be walking down the street or what have you and, you know, someone is, are you going to pull the dollar out or give some change to a homeless person? I also saw that. Would you, could you, and have you? Leo. Leo. Oh, so you just came out to tell me there is a heartbreak. You could be a Leo with Virgo Taurus Capricorn in your chart. Always see that as especially with the two next to one another i see that as this is your yourself leo with virgo taurus capricorn in your rising and or moon so i feel that you're like you're also having some some of you may be physically having like heart palpitations not something to worry about, but maybe you're witnessing, um, there's that, it's called my, mitral valve prolapse, right? Where it speeds up, you know, maybe taking a walk in nature might help you if you're feeling a little stressed, but if you are heartbroken, it's here, there's a Libra here that you could be heartbroken about. If it is a heart issue, please, of course, seek doctor's advice maybe you're going also leo for a checkup your annual heart checkup or something like that if that's not what the case then what you're doing is you you too are reminiscing about things that are still hurting your heart deeply maybe 
over the Thanksgiving holiday, you witnessed some, I'm going to say it. I feel like some of you Leos witnessed family members not being nice and it hurt your heart. Like um, maybe you have kids, right? Let's just say you have three kids, right? And Alexa just like turned on. I don't know. Randomly, she decides to, to just turn on. Um, so you could have been at the Thanksgiving table. You have three kids and you went to visit one. And that one child has been talking shit about the other two or one other. Something like that. So that is hurting your heart about, you know, maybe you spoke you spoke up that this isn't right, that you shouldn't be talking bad about your siblings or their siblings, your kid, your other kids. So there was definitely a conversation, but also it really has hurt your heart about what perhaps your children think about their siblings as well as what was said. And I don't know how you can really clear that up without it not hurting your heart. You know what I mean? Something happened perhaps on Thanksgiving. Okay, Psalm 34, 18, look at this. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. So that really hurt your heart without question. If it, it could have been a family member, it could have been a loved one, it could have been whomever this really bothered you. So um, if you did speak up about it, that is awesome. And that's really all you can do. And maybe kind of like pull yourself out of the equation of, you know, these kids have to like, because they're older kids, these kids have to settle this stuff within themselves. Maybe that's the, the painful part. For some of you Leos, it's hard to pull back and not really want or not be able to get involved because you know that your perspective, if you are a father, say, your perspective of that situation could be totally different from how obviously they're feeling about what they're talking shit about. And either they're talking shit about a Libra or Libra's talking shit about others, or it's both. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. I just heard the good old days. Our childhood being raised, you know, your, your memories of childhood coming to the forefront and your very, I feel, <laughs> that you're all over this in terms of if you if it isn't your childhood virgo it is um it is your upbringing you're thinking about your childhood or you have a, you have a child that's a virgo taurus capricorn that you're trying to weigh out which i feel this weighing out is truly a balance of how you felt about how you grew up. Did you feel grounded? Did you feel like you had, you know, a good upbringing? Did you feel like you were given the best that could be provided? You know, not wanting for anything. That's a huge, that's huge, right? Being a kid and not wanting for anything except being in a, in a house that it, is warm and happy, you know? Some of you also are moving in with someone, like being a step parent and moving in with their child. They have one child. You could be the, the step parent, right? Coming in to move in. You could be lending or giving a small amount of money to help someone maybe a child get on their feet, like maybe their first home purchase or just lending them some money.
because maybe you're purchasing a home also. Some of you Virgos may be moving and you're weighing your options in terms of, okay, well, do I want to be in this area or that area? What's best for the ch my child, if you have a child, is also as much as and more important than the cost of the house or condo, whatever, is really the importance of, you know, the education of your child, like the school systems, the ratings, you're looking into and gathering information that is going to help you balance your decision. That's beautiful. If it's not, um, if it's not your child, it is your upbringing when you were a child. And maybe you're just feeling like, wow, I've, I've reached this, this pinnacle of, of appreciation for even the things that, for the things that made me happy and maybe for the things that, even the, the small things, you know, that really mattered in your life. I, I okay, I'm also hearing some of you are just doing small little upgrades that don't cost a lot of money or if it's not upgrades, it's maybe minor fix, fix and repairs that you're doing in the house. Okay. Your verse is, Bible verse is Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So I feel that you are extremely balanced within your home life and you are feeling good. And if you are afraid in any way, I'm just saying, fear comes in all shapes and sizes. That's why we do these readings. Fear over, fear sometimes over, over takes us. And especially when it comes to a Virgo and their money. So you could be having somewhat of like, you know, hesitation is fear, fear of spending too much money or getting, you know, a handyman and they rip you off or, you know, upgrading and the cost of the materials is, you know, outrageous. Those kind of things don't give us comfort, especially to an earth sign who needs to put money into something that they're not, you know, they don't want to, or they don't feel you're getting the right deal. Not so much don't want to, but you know, or you giving money to someone who, you know, it's like, go get a job. Perhaps that could be also. Okay. Libra. Time stampers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribers so grateful okay going live i'm i'm ready now i'm i'm very comfortable um and i've had to overcome also just quick note side note just overcome some things in my transition from la here so thank you for your patience and definitely ready to go live Okay, look at, see, this is like so true. Overcoming, overcoming all of the crap and oh my God, yes, right? The overcoming and, real, and the realization, right? Of what we are not only blessed with, not only the financial part, but how blessed we are with the, the, every day of what we do, knowing how much opportunities are out there, knowing how much love to give and love that we do give and love that we seek. Some of you are seeking love and as you turn the page, Libras, you will realize and have realized that there's so much more out there. So if you are single, let's just say, and you've you've overcome this anguish, if you will, you now see the light, right? 
through the, the beautiful light, through the trees, you're now understanding that you have so much to give and to offer in terms of love and how you value yourself now through this, the overcoming of this, all these painful and dreadful experiences have led you to such great opportunity, right? When one door closes, look at what opens, you know what I mean? And it also could be money coming in that's really exceptionally, in and certain money flow coming in that is from different um, avenues of income, per se. Some of that is, you know, Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin, your property is of value. You are, of course, valued. And you want to be seen for that. But you don't want to be valued and seen for what people perceive you as. People have their own perceptions of what we are like from what maybe we used to be like instead of what we truly are now. How we have set our boundaries, how we have decided that we do matter. We matter and we know that what that what is the most important thing and value to a Libra is patience. And to weigh out our options so that we see the bigger picture. That's what we do best. And let them say what they will. But that's for sure. Doing, doing Libra in the way that only Libras can do certain things and that's weighing our options and that's what you are doing on the value system of what you represent not what others have thought that you represented or assumed it was what you represented it's their perception um ephesians four thirty one is your bible verse get rid of all bitterness rage anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice so that's a lot here to un unpack this is a lot if that suits what you've been going through anger malice resentment remorse criticism judgments and that's a give and take i mean i have to say it because it is um it is air or it's someone external to you that's an air sign that has in the past been all of these things. Because I find it very difficult to understand that you would want to hold on, which I feel like you don't want to hold on to any more resentment and bitterness. You're letting it all go. I feel it's someone else. That's how I truly feel, that there's a lot of people that really did not see you for, for who you really represent and the growth people don't see us grow people don't see you grow how does someone see you grow if they don't i mean literally even when they live with us they don't see you grow do you know what i mean it only takes someone else to grow in order for them to see us grow right like attracts like all right enough of that <laughs> let's go scorpio Scorpio, family matters. Yes, family, being with family, going to visit family or family coming to visit you. I feel you're reaching out to family or going to be with family and you're not even questioning. Maybe at one point you were thinking, oh, I don't know if I should or not. Maybe this is kind of like, I don't know, should I go or shouldn't I go? Maybe you're taking a trip. Maybe you've been deciding, I think in the next you know, month or two, I'm gonna go where I wanna go, or I'm gonna go on a road trip. Some of you could be getting in the car and driving. Some of you could be Uber drivers or what have you. But I feel that most definitely you're leaving, like maybe you were visiting family for the holidays, 
leaving now and deciding, maybe you've already decided what it is over the holiday season, the things that you are like gonna go after, what you're going to take the risk. You gotta take the risk, right? In order to get what you want, you have to go for it. So some of you are definitely going for it. Some of you, the going for it means you're using your emotions instead of your logic to go for it, whatever that is. What, <clears throat> excuse me. Whether it's a trip, you're not telling anybody. Whether it's a decision that you already made, you're, you're like, you know what? I'm just going to do me. Some of you are really focusing in on your bodies. And if you haven't been, you need to. Drinking more water, for sure. Being by water, even better. You now have the freedom to come and go as you please. Some of you have that freedom, so go for it. Some of you are very connected to horses. You feel and or um, dogs, horses and dogs. If you don't, maybe that's the go for it. Maybe you're going to buy a dog. Maybe you're going to visit someone who has dogs. Um, getting, buying, maybe you have a dog and you purchased one from a shelter and you're like, you know, I'm gonna go get another one. What the heck? This dog needs a companion. So you could have two dogs, right? Maybe that's what you've been thinking. Should I get an animal and or should I, um, if you already have an animal, maybe you want to get two for company. If it is your body um, that you're, you know, some of, some of you are starting to work out. It's time to weight train. If, you know, you're feeling fra fragile, more fragile, or you need upper body strength, or even lower body strength, but I'm feeling a lot of upper body strength, definitely upper body strength, lifting weights, you know, working out just in general, and eating healthy, right? What is the saying, um, eating the rainbow, eating the colors of the rainbow, right? Your fruits and vegetables, your green leaves, you know, all of that. Drinking your water, right? If some of you have been checking out, um, maybe um, checking out new homes or moving, some of you are definitely moving, but a lot of you are moving on. <laughs> Good. All right, Proverbs 2022 20, is your Bible verse. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. So, retribution. I, I heard the word retribution. So, in essence, um, maybe it's not so much the wrongs of your doing. It could be the wrongs of others that you're like, you know what, I'm moving past that and I'm taking the high road, and I'm not dealing. I mean, no one should really have to deal with that, right? All right, let's go. Sagis. Edge. Let's see what's going on. Oh my gosh. Three of Swords. Who had this just now? Um, Taurus? Or Aries? Okay. Either way, check it out. Someone else had that as well as the Three of Wands the three of swords and the three Sagis. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, Sagis, if you have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio child, I, 
I feel your, I feel some of you are reminiscing about a breakup. All right. The, the breakup though is really affecting a child. Some of you want to go back. Some of you want to turn the, the hands of time back and go back to someone that you love. Saggy, some of you want to just offer up your love again to an ex who, who broke your heart. And you have kids with. This child does not, does not voice per se. They're upset, but I feel like you're feeling, you're feeling a true connection to your child's upset about, you know, baby mama, baby daddy gone out of the house. I think one child, I think I've said this to you in your, in your monthly, that you have one particular child who really needs maybe to kind of air out some of their pain. And I, I feel like if that is the case, Sagis, um, maybe, getting some counseling or if that's not an option if that's not an option you need to look at the behavior of the child like if there's no verbal verbal exchange say you have ADHD ADD or Aut autistic child or something of that nature where someone or someone just basically Cancer Pisces Scorpio holding back how they really feel but they're in pain trying to help a child is all about if you can't talk to them then the, the most important is their actions and trying to help them maybe um, a trip like a little weekend getaway would be an idea to help this child's pain. And or if you don't have a child, Sagi, it's yours. Just take a trip, go somewhere. Take a minute to reflect. There's a lot of that. This is the time of year for, for looking back and seeing how far we've grown and what have we learned this year. Philippians 4.4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. This is a time that you need to look back and rejoice, not for what you, not for what you think, but for how you feel. Rejoice for having this child, if it is a child and helping this child to get through it and or yourself to get through this in whatever way, either heart versus head or let's get the actions of you and a child connection. There's got to be that feeling of, you know, how can I help? How can I help my heart? How can I help my child's heart? And if you are trying to go back, it's going to be a really hard, bitter, sweet pill to swallow. But if you are contemplating offering your love up again to someone in the past that hurt you, even if that answer is no, rejoice in knowing that you had that time together. I know that sounds very difficult to do, but there is no other way if that is the case. Rejoice. Rejoicing in the sorrow as well as the, the experience. Rejoice in the experience of knowing that you had that time. Time spent. That's a lot. It's a lot to unpack there, Sag, and I know someone, I don't know if it was Aries, you gotta check it. There was um, 
someone had that three of swords that it was instrumental maybe taurus anyway check it out okay if that is indeed something that you're dealing with okay all right capricorn let's see what's going on for you capricorn what's happening wow look at your strength some of you are lifting weights and looking mighty you're you're just on point so capricorn you're like new job new love new life hello right and i don't care who knows seriously some of you are announcing a new job some of you are announcing an engagement unraveling that sorry but it's right there you have you have it some of you are are um, it's not really an announcement as much as it is showing and or telling someone how you feel starting a new beginning like i said starting a new job for some of you lifting weights you may have a personal trainer that is really helping you with upper body strength some of you are within the next two weeks you're going to be getting some news that is going to make you really happy i know two weeks well it's three weeks away the holiday you know the holiday christmas whatever you you celebrate hanukkah i feel some of you are letting your hair grow some of you are taking supplements that allow your hair to grow really well healthy um eating leafy greens uh kale all of that is really helping you internally I'm hearing, oh my God, that's like so bizarre. I'm hearing David Bowie's Time is on Your Side. Oh my God, I haven't heard that song in years. Or is that Bowie? Hold on. No, that's the Stones. <laughs> okay. So something about time with David Bowie. There could be a connect there. And as well as the song... Time is on my side with that Jagger saying. Blue ribbon, some of you are winning a blue ribbon or you have a horse that wins a blue ribbon. I love that. That's really cool. Let me know. Okay, I did say this for someone else, I believe time is on your side. Time is on your side, right? It's not time that is... Time is the illusion. But what we do with our time is real time. So maybe you're questioning what you do in your, in your spare time, real time, And or do you feel like you have time? There's something there. Okay, your Bible verse is Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Oh yeah, look at that. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So... If your whole trajectory is changing, right? Everything's like, you know how you turn the, you turn the, I don't know why I'm, now I'm seeing a vault, right? Where you're turning the, you have the, the code to turn the vault. So a new job or a new direction, 
maybe you're inquiring about where is the best place that I want to land. But being strong and confident, getting or gathering the information that will make you feel like you're making the right decision in whatever it is that you're doing. But you also know that God is with you wherever you go. So sometimes I'm hearing it's not the geographical location that brings you this, this comfort and joy. I don't know, joy to the world. Oh my gosh, I don't know. You got a lot of songs there, Capricorn. A lot of songs. Maybe you're writing. Oh, oh, that's what they're saying. Yeah, you're writing a new Christmas song if you write lyrics. I just heard it, so there you go. <laughs> and you're going, to, maybe the song is going to be a Bowie meets Jagger Christmas song about time, what we do with it, how we share, who we share it with, and how we value. That would be a good song, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you need help, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's happening. Aquarius, what is the tower? It's not always bad. This could be, oh my God, out of the blue, you get some legal document that, yeah, you read something legally, maybe a legal piece of paper, or you hear or find out you have, you owe back taxes. That first thing that came to my head. Aquarius, some of you are reading some legal documentation that is imperative that you read so that you don't get sidetracked or taken advantage of. There is documents, I feel documents, and this could be in your home. You could even be reading like, um, maybe you just bought a new home or you've been in a home and you have to look up your like home inspection. Um, maybe you have to get insurance, home insurance. Anything legal about a property needs to be read, fine tooth combing it. You may say to yourself, Aquarius, oh, I know everything I need to know. And that's not true. You really need to gather information, read the documentation before something maybe comes out of it that you don't want to happen. Just saying. To avoid. It could be electrical. Maybe you're reading something about, maybe you're looking, how old is your home? Maybe you have to go back to some documents. Did you sign something about a property? Anything that you could have signed, anything you're reading. If you're looking for a new home, you know to, it may be at a distance away from where you live now. So you're, you're really fine tooth combing it. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. And it's about the foundation of the home. It's the way it was built. Is it, is it, uh, is the foundation built on, I'm hearing like a slant, something like that. Is, are the pipes, what is it, PCP versus copper? You may be wanting the copper piping. This is about your home. If you are selling your home, same thing. You need to make sure that you read the fine print and that you disclose, that's what they're saying also, that you disclose everything in the house that you've been dealing with or have had issues with receipts, um, any paperwork. 
yeah, that's it. And that, that research will give you a sense of peace in case anything were to happen. So covering, covering your ass basically as well in, in terms of a home. Window treatments. The weight, I heard the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Maybe you need to get, um, oh, oh, okay. The weight of the world is on your shoulders, meaning you're the only one gathering information. Maybe you're helping someone. And if it's not, it's then it's just you. But you need to gather as much information that you can about the foundation, the location, the paperwork. Something about the weight, the weight. I feel like it's, you know, it's something about the literal foundation that the house sits on. I just wanna get one card on that because I don't wanna just Let's just get one card real quick for my beautiful Aquarians, truly, to help. What is it? Oh, wow. Okay, so, yeah, some of you are moving. Moving out, moving on. Maybe it's could be, like, suddenly a sudden divorce, breakup, or it's already happened. It's already happened, and you're still dealing with the legalities of the property. But I also feel in, it's not so much like a union in the house as it is a, maybe the house is too big. Maybe you don't wanna live in this house anymore, it's too big. Or You don't like this house anymore, maybe. You know what I mean? Like you've gotten used to it or you have like, some of you have like bad memories of this house and you can't wait to get rid of it. It's that kind of vibe. All right, let me know. Please share with me if it's someone that moved out, moved on. But there's also issues of the foundation as well. It's like and water, water, electricity, maybe it's flooded, something like that. Okay, Psalm 9-1 is your Bible verse. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all of my heart. I will tell you of all your wonderful deeds. So, some of you feel like you got saved in terms of, I mean, everything is, depends upon what you're dealing with, right? Getting saved means, gosh, if I hadn't read this information on this house, or if I hadn't looked at the legal contract, or if I hadn't done this, then this could have been a real problem. But since I was warned or forewarned about it, now I can deal with it. Now I can dive deeper into whatever I need to see in order to make a clear decision. Or something broke down in the house and now it's like, okay, now I get it. I got to get rid of it. Something like that. Let me know. If you're looking at homes, then just be real mindful about what they're telling you and what the, the read the fine print, you know, those terms and conditions always come in such small letters, you know, and there's a reason why they do it, right? Because they feel like anything else, any other contract that you're not going to read the fine print, but not for Aquarius. They don't know who they're talking to. 
for sure. Pisces. Pisces. Oh, who had that? Libra. Getting through it. Rising above all of what you've been through and starting new. Pisces, you're on a new, like totally new life. And, you know, you're like, oh, say goodbye to this. I heard, say goodbye, Pisces, to this, that, and the other thing that has just mentally drained you. The people, the places, the things, the job. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm leveling up. I'm starting new, a new identity, a new me. Some of you have attained a new level of awareness, jumping paradigms, if you will, um, and really kind of like winging it, really winging it. So this new Piscean that we're going to see is going to be like a whole new person, a new identity. Gone is the old Pisces. Now we have a love, we've leveled up and now we're able to be seen for our strength of resolve. We're seen as balanced and if anyone has even remotely undermined your strength of resolve, of resolve, they don't know who they're messing with either. Some of you are the jack of all traits and people don't see that in you because people don't take an extra minute to see, which is true for all of us. Um, some of you are getting a new animal, be that a cat or a dog. Maybe needing to balance it all out. I feel something about balance, rebalance, a rebalance. Some of you are working on your bodies. A lot of that's been, has been in the read for this upcoming week. You know, what we ingest, what we eat, really watching what we eat, realizing the, you know, the aftermath of, let's just say, you know, going to McDonald's versus having a healthy salmon or something like that. I feel like that's really becoming part of your leveling up is becoming really aware of, of what you're ingesting and what you're putting into your body. And that's changing you in the sense of it's making you feel really good, right? Because we are what we eat. We are how we think. And we are certainly what we let go of. All that negativity that we hear or you're, you know, maybe you're on YouTube watching, you know, all the, you know, all the crap that's going on out there, right? How much time we waste and how we balance that time, not only for others, but primarily for you, balancing your time. And having a lot of that is part of reju like a rejuvenation of, you know, your whole life. what you're doing with your time, how you're, maybe some of you no longer, literally, no longer need to clock in, right? So now you have so much time on your hands and you're, you know, maybe you need to see what other things, creative ventures or new people, whatever comes into your life and lifestyle to gain access to being truly authentically, which 